And for rejuvenation that was talked about on your website, was there any plans or thought into using Yamanaka factors or anything? Or how do you see, if there, if, if it's not now, like, do you see something like that happening in the future? Sure. So, yes, partial reprogramming is undoubtedly one of the most exciting areas in rejuvenation right now. And, of course, vast amounts of money are going into um, uh, taking it forward. And, um, you know, I have some reservations about doing partial reprogramming using Yamanaka factors. I don't really believe that there is sufficiently persuasive evidence yet to say that in humans anyway, it will be safe. I believe that the cancer risk is real. And that's why I'm very interested in other approaches to doing partial reprogramming that have been um, uh, conceived by, especially by Mike West at, I, at age X. Um, but uh, yes, um, Yamanaka factors, partial reprogramming, in one form or another is quite likely to be one of the interventions that we test in the second round of of thousand mice that we will plan to um start doing things to in probably um at the third or fourth quarter of 2023 um we've got other things on our list of course um neutral blood exchange which I'm, i i guess a lot of people will have heard of where um, the plasma is um, partially removed from a mouse and replaced but with basically saline that has um, albumin in it. You know, this has, ha has shown quite interesting results uh, in terms of rejuvenation. We may want to, con to continue restricting ourselves to things that have shown actual lifespan results, but we don't know for sure that that's what we're going to do. So there's a lot of planning going, going on at the moment. And I was, um, oh, go ahead. No, and that's it. Okay. Um, I was curious, uh, what, so I, I was reading through your website. I was doing as much as I can to, to read it. So this is a great interview because there's so much we can color 